If you had the news that could save someone, would you keep it to yourself in fear of rejection? In the film Mulan, hold on, spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to tell you that something happens right near the end. In the film Mulan, Mulan knows that the Huns have come back and they're going to the city to try and kill the emperor. Mulan knows that people might reject her and reject that news. But do you think that she won't do it in fear of rejection? Shall we see? No, of course Mulan didn't. Of course she went to the city and told people because she had the news that could save the emperor. Yes, people did reject her, but she went anyway because she had the news that could save someone. Today, in the story from the Bible, Paul and Barnabas tell people of the good news about Jesus, even though they face rejection. You'll find this story in Acts chapter 13, verses 13, to 52. You can pause the video now if you want to read along. Paul and Barnabas went to Antioch, a city in Pydicea. On the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue. Paul said, Men of Israel and you other people who worship God, please listen. He spoke of God's goodness to Israel from their ancestors through to David. He told them that Jesus was their saviour, who in coming fulfilled God's promises and the prophecies from the Old Testament. He said that Jesus is alive and that forgiveness for sins comes through him. Paul told them to believe in Jesus or they will face judgment for their sin. Paul and Barnabas were encouraged to come on the next Sabbath when almost all the people in the city came to hear the word of the Lord. Seeing the crowd, the Jews became very jealous. They said insulting things and argued against what Paul said. But Paul and Barnabas spoke very boldly and all who were appointed. This is, means chosen by God for eternal life believed. And the message of the Lord was spreading through the whole country, but the Jews started trouble against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of the area. So Paul and Barnabas shook the dust of their feet and went to Iconia. You see, but Paul and Barnabas have the news that saves people. And the Holy Spirit. They have the good news about Jesus. They went to Antioch, a different one from where they first sailed from, and shared this good news, first with the Jews and then the Gentiles too. People rejected them. They said insulting things and in the end, they kicked them out of the city. Paul and Barnabas are faced with the rejection, but they shared the good news anyway, because they knew it could save people. Yes, some people rejected the good news, but we read in verse 48, and all who were appointed for eternal life believed. All who were appointed for eternal life believed. God was with Paul and Barnabas when they shared the good news and people were saved. Like Mulan has the news that could save the emperor, Paul and Barnabas have the good news that can save all who believe. We have the same good news to share too. If we believe Jesus has saved us from our sin, this story should be an encouragement for us to share the gospel that good news with people in our lives who aren't saved. Yes, just like Barnabas and Paul, we might face rejection and that is really scary. But just like Barnabas and Paul, God is with you and in you sharing the gospel. And if it's God's will, people will be saved. I fear that my friends will reject the good news about Jesus when I tell them to. So this week, I'm going to pray that God will help me to share the good news about Jesus 
even if my friends may reject it. Why don't that you do that too? And I've got a tool that can help you. So if you want to draw around your hand, and what I've done, and I think you guys would enjoy this too, is to put a name of every, so I've got five names in here, of people in my life who I'll probably talk to in this week who don't know Jesus, who aren't saved yet. And what I've done is I've written a little prayer in the middle to help me remember um, what to say to God when I'm praying for them. And I've said, dear God, help me to share the good news about Jesus with these friends. I pray that they will believe and not reject the good news. Amen. And you might want to uh, do something different. You might want to work on it with your with people at home, uh, with your siblings, um, and come up with your own prayer that um, will to pray that God will be with you in your sharing the good news and that your friends won't reject it.